Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. If you guys have a transmission, let me explain, let me list a few. Such as 60, 30, 60, 35, 60, 40, 60, 45, and maybe even 60, 50, guys. This is a transmission that's mostly used on four-cylinder, Chevy, uh, Buick, and Opel vehicles, even GMC vehicles as well. Stay with us, guys, and we're going to explain which solenoid does what. And if you have a problem with your transmission not shifting certain gear or not engaging uh, certain clutches, we'll explain what each one of those does and how to know uh, how to know what solenoid controls certain certain clutches. Now, we guys have more than 200 videos on every vehicle we get at the shop. Engines, we take them completely apart. Transmissions, guys, you can see motors everywhere, so please subscribe to the channel. Now, we took that transmission apart, guys. We have the complete video on our main channel, how to repair, guys. Please check it out. It will be listed there. And we took the transmission completely apart so we can show you things, guys, show you how to rebuild if something goes wrong. And this is, guys, the uh, solenoid body right here. So we're going to talk about the different solenoid and uh, solenoids and what clutches they control and all that stuff. So you need to remove your oil pan right there and you're going to get to the solenoids here. And let me guys explain. This is your transmission computer here and on this side as well. These are the solenoids and the computer controls which solenoid to open and that way the oil will flow through a certain passage and it will send oil okay, to the certain clutches and the clutches will be activated and the transmission will start working. So now let me guys show you okay, uh, first what we'll be doing. Now this guys is generation 2 transmission. Generation 1 usually it has only black solenoids and uh, you can check it by the number okay on your transmission computer right here if you have gen 1 or gen 2 check out the video guys we have it on the channel that explains how to do that okay and we will list for both of them today for generation 1 and generation 2 so now guys there is difference between one generation 1 and 2 and it differs only in two solenoids but let's start with what we have here this is generation 2 Okay, generation two solenoids. So this one on the very left one, okay, facing this layout. Okay, this is a line pressure solenoid. This one is known as uh, uh, pressure control solenoid number four, guys, number four. And this one controls clutches two and six, number cl clutches two and six. This one controls clutches three, five and reverse. This one is known as shift solenoid. Shift solenoid, this is the torque converter clutch solenoid. And this one is uh, the solenoid for clutches 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is for reverse 1, reverse 1, 4, 5 and 6. Now, if you guys have generation 1, okay, generation 1 will be pretty much, okay, <coughs> the same so far. Let me show you now line pressure solenoid here you have a solenoid for clutches two and six and then the difference is right here this is for clutches one two three and four this one will be still shift solenoid this is still the torque converter uh, clutch solenoid but this one is for clutches three five and reverse and the last one will be for reverse one four five and six so pretty much okay on generation one and two this one and this one right here, they will be switched, guys. But now you know how to know which solenoid is uh, for what. And we have a video that explains how to test them. So please check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time.